My name's Johnson. Mind if I talk to you for a few minutes? No, I haven't anything else to do. That's right. Sorry about the lipstick girl. Now, look, after you lost your job, uh, what did you do? I tried to find another job. I mean, how did you spend your time? Oh, I used to sit around the park any place. Oh, uh, I don't smoke. When you were in the park, uh, did you hear any of those speeches? You mean those fellows that talk too much? Yeah. Well, I guess I made the instructions too complicated because he thought I said hang up when I just said hang on. Oh, Jesus. The story is right. Alderman was the fifth name to control that fund, and Sloan would have told the grand jury. That Sloan wanted to tell the grand jury. Why didn't he? Because nobody, nobody asked. Nobody asked. The cover-up had little to do with the break-in. It was to protect covert operations and the covert activities involving the entire U.S. intelligence community. You guys are probably pretty tired, right? Well, you should be. Go on home. Get a nice hot bath. Rest up 15 minutes. Then get your asses back in gear. We're under a lot of pressure, you know, and you put us there. Nothing's riding on this except the uh, First Amendment, the Constitution, freedom of the press, and maybe the future of the country. For a second there, I thought you were going to cry yourself. That would have been something. Give me a minute. the extreme reaction. Law well, had to know. That's why he had the reaction. Because he knew there were others. I think that's the bigger story. Wait, bigger than 50 priests? If it came from the top down, yes. But the numbers clearly indicate that there were senior clergy involved. That's all they do, indicate. We need to focus on the institution, not the individual priests. Practice and policy. Show me the church manipulated the system so that these guys wouldn't have to face charges. Show me they put those same priests back into parishes time and time again. Show me this was systemic, that it came from the top down. Mm -hmm. 